Yo, 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 what's going on, everybody? You already know what time it is. It's time for another edition of the Independent Scene. And you are now tuned into the latest, hottest show and the most episodic show on Instagram Live. First of all, let me just welcome all of my newcomers that's coming into the building right now. I have a dope, I have a dope collective in the building. Um, they are truly dope. They're truly amazing. And I can't wait to chop it up with them. So, with that being said, and I hope I'm saying this name right, but if not, y'all can correct me and get, help me get it right. But they go by the name of Flight Coat Music 2. I hope I got that right. So, with that being said, without any further ado, let's get the let's get the group in the building. And we're gonna go from there. Uh let me see, let me see. Where is um all right, there you go. We're gonna chop it up. Let's chop it up with the the the, the man behind it all. My man, Traumatic, all the way from the 2-5, you know what I'm saying? Let's get it. Oh, shit, 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 shit. What up, what up, we in here? Oh, what's up, we in What's good, what's good, I'm what's cool. good? What it do, what it do? Cool, cool, it you is. already know, it ain't working. <laughs> I feel that, I feel that. Well, first of all, guys, welcome to the show, man. I was like, glad y'all are be able to be a part of the show. Definitely, you know what I'm saying, man. Appreciate you for having me, bro. Most, facts, facts, facts. Most um, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let y'all know something, man. It's very, it's very rare, man, that I that I get a, that I get many collectives. So to have another collective, you know, join the show is truly, is truly dope. So I definitely can't wait to, you know. See what's going on with y'all. See what y'all got going, and you know we're gonna, we're gonna, you know we're gonna do the damn thing as they say. You know what I mean? Yes, sir. Oh, yeah, right. Right. Yes, sir. Big fact, big fact. Most well, well, first of all, traumatic. What's what's happening, my brother? What's good with it all? You already know, man. You know, same old working, doing what I do, man. You know what I mean? And um, you know, the linked up again with this. This is we all actual family. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Murder Valentino is my blood brother. Easy, my first cousin. We all, you know what I'm saying? We all family. Okay. So um, we never looked at it as a collective. It's just, you know, I'm working with my brother and my cousin. Yeah. Okay. It's okay. just, a, you know what I'm saying? We in the lab. Big facts. Ain't no, hey, and like I said, ain't nothing wrong with that. You know what I'm saying? As long as y'all, you know, stri striving for the same shit, going for the same shit, hey, it's all that really matter at this point. Yeah, yeah, yeah facts, yeah, facts. Yeah. All right. And, um, Speaking on the uh the title, Flight Coat Music 2 is the title of the project that we're about to release. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. That's why, you know what I mean, I, I address the collective thing. Like, we're not a collective. We all individual artists. And Flight Coat Music 2 is the actual project that's about to come out. That's okay. what we're working on. Okay. Yeah. Most definitely. And we, de and we definitely going to get into that. But like I said, with, with that being said, without any further ado, like I said, uh, let you know, so I want you guys to introduce yourselves for the people that don't know y'all. And we're going to jump right into it. You know, you know, look, you already know who it is, man. If you don't know, put a on the man behind the boards. You know what I'm saying? The man with the sauce, the man with the drip. You already know, you feel me? I'm the 252 legend. You already know how I pop my shit, man. Hey, look, Hunter J, I appreciate you for having me. Shout out to Brown Life Video. Give the music, you know what I'm saying? So easy, man. If y'all want y'all to be, they hit my man Cash out. I'm going to let him introduce himself. Most definitely. Thanks. Most definitely. Yeah, I'm so easy. You already know that. You know, they call me so easy. Made it. Oh. And, you know, I got beats right now. And I need them gone. <laughs> so, <laughs> hey, <laughs> y'all got to come shop with me. Yeah. Right now, so easy. Made it on Facebook. Cash App, so easy. Made it. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. Hey, look, and then what's crazy, too, Hunter, like, he was the uh, producer for the first uh, Flight Coat Music. Okay. Like, you feel okay. Me? And, and, and like this is what we've been, you know what I'm saying, discussing, you know, like the first one we made front page of the data dispatch. That's where we at, you know, with our newspaper. Okay. Yeah. And like this one right here, we giving them more content. Last time we only hit them with three. You feel me? That was just a quick jab. Like we coming for the knockout point of this one. So yes, sir. I told right. you that this is gonna be a Grammy right here. You feel me? Flat coat music by the two. You okay. feel me? So if you're not in tune, y'all get in tune with what we got going on, because we really like that. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Most oh, yeah. definitely. Yeah. I, I I will say this, and I and I you know, and I've said this many times on this show, man. You know, is you know, you know, when I started in this business, man. You know, of course, you know, I was a rookie. You know, still learning the ropes, things of that nature. But you know, right. now I'm in a position now where I'm, just, you know, I'm I'm 
I'm taking it all in as I go along. You know what I mean? So I'm sitting back and I'm, I'm observing, I'm watching. And I've been seeing the kind of work y'all been putting in. So I'm, I'm going to let y'all know. Y'all mm -hmm. y'all, got some y'all got some stuff coming. So, I'm, so keep hey, up oh, yeah. that same oh, yeah. energy. That's all I'm going to say. Yeah, I'm telling you. Yeah, I'm telling you. It's really like that, man. I appreciate Man, look, this platform right here. Like, it's really finna shine a whole lot of light behind what we're doing, man. And I appreciate you for that opportunity. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of people ain't doing what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? Like, when Max right, told right, me, right. When, when bro put me on to who you was, I went and I already scouted out your content, man. And I see what you're doing. Man. It's a powerful thing. I you appreciate feel so that. Once we get, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, so yeah, I appreciate you for being on this platform. Most definitely. Like I said, you know, and, and that's, and again, that's, that's one of the reasons why I do what I do, you know, because. You know, and I say, and this is one of the things, the many key things that people fail to realize, man. You know, you, you know, we see each other at shows. We, you know, we do all this music stuff, but don't nobody right. really know the real backstory and the real and the real insight behind the artists, behind what they got going on, behind what they do. So when you have a platform, right. so when you have a platform such as this one, where people like myself, you know, be able to bring others, you know, up to speed on what's going on. That gives other people insight, like, yo, yeah, okay, so now I know a little bit more why they move, why they move, why they operate the way they operate, you know, the, the whole nine yards, you know what I mean? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. You know, and we came up from teenagers, so like around 2004 to now. Yeah. So we basically built each other. Yeah, that, and, and, that's, and that's and that's honestly and honestly that's what it's all about for where you gotta you know so you gotta have that 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 foundation and that build to where you know, like you said you know you're building each other up and y'all all are pushing for the same dream the same goal you know what i mean right right sir all right and so all, we're, gonna, we're gonna go ahead and jump into it man i appreciate all the introductions all that good stuff so about this album this project this volume man talk to us about it where did it how did how, where, how did y'all come up with the the, the the logistics of it, the the lyrics, the songs, the the collaborations. I mean, talk to us about. It. Let's get into it. Um, well, last year, you know, we had a, a, a overnight session one time, and it was just some real, you know, what I mean, laid back, real cool shit. It was a private session with us, and we just dropped these three tracks, and we said, you know what, let's just release all this as an EP, because mm -hmm. because the vibe from that night, we can re recreate it again. So, you know, we we dropped the EP and it was um getting cold at the time. We dropped it in November of last year. Okay. So when we sat we sat at the round table coming up with a title, you know, we started talking about like, you know, stuff certain stuff we see on social media, certain things that mean things to us. Mm -hmm. And we got on the subject of uh, Black Air Force One and, okay. and the uh, <laughs> and the attention that they get. Okay. Okay. And, and I was like, okay. You know, like, well, we want to bring that same energy into music, right? But on another level, okay. So we took it back to flight jackets, flight coats. You remember? Right. I do. 2007, 2008. That I do. We I all, do. everybody had a flight coat, right? They you know did. what I'm saying? That they did. And that's the and and like not to take it back to that era in time musically, but it's just something that stuck out because we wanted it to be something that was memorable. Mm -hmm. When you put the song on. And you put your headphones in, put your hoodie on, and go about your day, it stick with you. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? And that's the kind of music we wanted to drop, something that, that will stick to you. That if you were to hear it this year, it'll take you back to last year. And if you hear it five years from now, it'll still bring you back to last year. Facts, big facts. And, and this time around, we just doubling up on the same energy, the same vibe. You know, man, we got more music, more production, more features. It's just bigger and better this time. We just doubled up right cold music, too. Most definitely, most definitely. Well, with that being said, so when it comes to, you know, the songs that are on this volume too, what makes these songs, I want to say, what makes these songs so different from all the other projects and EPs that y'all have done? What makes, this, what makes this one stand out a little bit more than all the others? All right, look, so I'm going to tell you, it's kind of like when I first did Flat Coat Music, uh, First one, like like I said, we had cousin do the whole, um, the whole you know, producing part, right? Other, um, and I did the engineering, so like I learned a lot more doing engineering, and then like the space that we got, we didn't have before. So now I can collectively, you know, work with each artist, right? And, and put them in the right position. So when I'm mixing and mastering, it's a lot more cleaner, smoother, and you get a better sound, right? And like, right. like to, to touch on. What he had said, like last year we did, we did it in November when it was cold. 
But with this one, we want to give you that same vibe, but yes, you can sir. also carry it over into the summertime, too. Facts. Okay. Facts. okay. So that's what we're doing with this one. So it's just a whole lot more smooth. Like I said, just to put more emphasis on it's a Grammy. It's, yeah, a Grammy <laughs> win. We're going for, we're going for that. It's that type of music. It's yeah. going to stick with you for years, man. Hey, it, hey, not to interrupt, but in the comments, you know what I'm saying? I see my boy, uh, Diamond, Gam Fam TV. You already know. Oh, yeah. Hey, Jules. Hey, Jules, I got some, um, you know, we in the lab right now. We were just yeah. topping it up, talking about the Money Marathon feature. I'm going to go ahead and knock that out tonight. Let me make let me make this declaration. I I, I actually met uh Diamond uh at an arcade of thrones. He did he came through uh this past Thursday and did a touch the mic showcase, which I need to pull up to by the way. But this man Diamond Oh yeah, yeah, we locked in, we locked in, we all met, you know what I mean, next week, that feature spot. Most you know what I mean? Let's go, let's go lock that in. You know what I mean? We pulling up most, the strong way. Most definitely. You already know how we brought. Exactly. So like I said, yeah, he definitely came through and he showed out, man. And when I tell y'all, I was literally as as you know, as a as a host, man, just sitting there and taking all that and, and listening to his flow, man. I'm like, wow, like, you know, oh yeah. Diamond, my, he, my boy he, D Jew is a beast. I, we worked we worked the um on the um on his last project, he had a song Wakanda. I'm on the remix of the Wakanda yeah. song. Re, the Wakanda remix, yeah. I'm on that. Um you know, I mean, I've been rocking with my boy for a minute, from Carolina Ways to the uh, Arcade of Thrones, moving through Raleigh, you know what I mean? Different yeah. events and stuff. You know what I mean? We've been linked up. You know what I mean? The same way me and you linked up. Right. Just, you know what I mean? Real recognize real when you out, when you out in the field. It's, it's inevitable. Exactly, right? exactly. Right. Okay, I feel that. I feel that. Well, like you said, it's definitely all love. It's definitely all love, man. And, you know, I, him and I was actually just talking about him coming uh, coming on the show. So I'm going to definitely get him more here, man. And we definitely going to, you know what I'm saying, get it popping. You know what I mean? Thank you. And, the, and the song is not called Wakanda Remix. I see him in the comments. He just corrected me. It's called Friend of Mine. Okay. 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 I call it that because that's how I got it in the email. You know how they call me. <laughs> same with obsession or whatever. You sing it to me as Wakanda. The name of the song is Friend of Mine. It's on the uh, 80s Baby Project. Okay. Okay. Well, that's what it is. That's what it is. All right. So, easy. Talk to us a little bit about these beats, man. You you know, you've been making beats for a minute, man. So, what's it like, you know? creating these beats and being able to sell these beats, man, and really have some shit that people can really rock with and, and, and rock out to and shit. Man, like, I, I started making beats when I was, like, 14. They ain't sound all that good, but, you know, I, I, I kept going, and I, I ain't never stopping to now. So, I mean, I got better and better each each year. I, I kept going. And, and I mean, now, it's like, you know, like, basically, I got to give it to the traumatic because, I mean, he had most of my beats on all his albums, so it's like he the one that actually put me out there to even be known by any other artist right. to know that I have beats that I can sell. You know what I'm saying? Okay. That'll really make hits for anybody yeah. else other than him. If you've been um, if you've been following me for like the last couple of years, like some of my biggest records that I felt like had the the best traction, the best momentum, like um, two five two. You know, that was yeah, number one on the culture countdown for like six seven weeks. I had I had homeboy come home from prison and tell me like yo I we just listen to you in the yard. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But if you if you've been following me, then you know like Easy produced that. He produced um long time ago. He produced a lot of stuff that me and Two Real did, like the whatever track, um mm -hmm. Crazy Aids. Like Easy produced a lot of stuff for us. When we was on the on the run, like doing all those shows. Yeah. Like the, the whole EP, forgive and forget, Easy produced. Okay. And it's the same thing, like we just you know what I mean? Keeping it in house. Right, you know what I'm saying? Right. right. Artificial limb too. Yeah, fast. Big he did artificial limb too. Like that's flight coat music. You know what I'm saying? Big fast. I feel that. You know, and, and again, man, this is why I say, you know, this is where the beauty of music okay. comes in at because when you're able to collab with such dope artists and, and able to do what you guys do, man. You know, it's one of those things that as I say, it's undeniable and it can't be touched, as they say. You know what I mean? So I definitely, yeah. so I definitely, you know, wholeheartedly salute y'all, man, and all of the work that y'all got going, all the work that y'all putting in, man. So I got to know, man. So you know, also being, you know, creating within creating this this volume too. What was the what was the the, the what was the motto, the motto, or the message behind you know the, this volume too that y'all want the people to be able to take away from the volume two, you know, project? Man, that's the perfect question, bro. We literally just closing up a session 
that basically we wrapping it up. We wrapping up the tape and doing the mix and master session today. We just uh finished the last feature. She came through, and the song so powerful. I feel like it's gonna be like the the title, the theme track of the whole tape. And that's that. The the and the the point behind it, the theme of it is you know whatever you going through, whatever you got going on, God can bring you out of. And you know we 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 really like getting it from the mud. We want to motivate the people that's out here. We want to get it from the mud. Like, I rap a lot about starting your own businesses mm -hmm. or make, pushing your own ventures. And we do that and lead by that example. You know right. what I mean? Like, the last time we interviewed, me, we talked about, you know, I got the lawn care business, the T-shirt business. And bro just opened up the studio. God bless us with this. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. And, and, that, and we pushing it like that. You know what I mean? We preaching independence, um, motivation. That's, that's what it is. And look, can I um touch in on that too? Like, go ahead. Like, like, like he said, like this building was like blessed to us. You know what I'm saying? We we had this vision a long time ago that we wanted to have a, a space to record. See, we was recording in my room. Mm -hmm. nice. You know, we would, you know, break down the studio like and, and travel with. You know, I used to travel to my brother's house. That's how we recorded the first flight called music. Yeah, we did that in my living room. room. Yeah, you feel me? So, right, right. You know, like, shout out to my moms, you know what I'm saying? Because, like, she really, like, pushing us, you know what I'm saying? Like, she see the vision in us and she helped me fund this, you know what I'm saying? So now I'm giving back to the community for people to come in and, you know, showcase their talent and then know that they're leaving with good quality music for a decent price. Right, you, know? you in the Henderson area, Warren County, Franklin County, yeah. Austin, well, if you close, you know what I mean, pull up, man, get you a good quality session. Yes, you know what? And, yeah. and, you know, murder, at murder Guacino. Most yeah. definitely. And you know, and again, you know, and, and I've said it before, I said it again, you know, not, it's not too many people, mainly artists wise, that you find that are able to have that kind of that kind of impact on, you know, other people and, and you know, and what you got mm -hmm. going on. So, you know, you guys doing mm -hmm. what you do is truly, you know, mm -hmm. continuing to blow up and I you know, and I wish y'all all the best of success. And what y'all and each y'all and each of y'all careers, man. Now, traumatic, yeah, you, you know, you it, just mentioned, yeah. you know, you go you doing this this long this long care, this t shirt business, man. Like, but you doing some of everything, man. I mean, I, I what I want to know is what is that pressure like? Because you know, you I mean, I'm pretty sure you can call some everybody want you to do XYZ, man. So what is that like? Bro, I, w I was just telling them about, you know what I mean? My inbox right now is looking real crazy, but it's a lot of money in them. So yeah. it's just, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's really all about staying focused and being persistent, you know what I mean? Yeah. And getting the job done at the end of the day. Because e even with that, I work full time too. You know what I'm saying? So it's it just, it's it's real. Yeah. But it's love though. At the end of the day, when I when I bring that bag home, it's, it's like that. So most definitely, <laughs> most definitely, you got you definitely, as I say, you definitely got to secure the bag. You definitely got to, you know, I said, make sure you, you know, you doing everything you got to do to make sure that you're able to provide. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, facts, facts. All right, so let facts. me ask y'all this: so when, it, so, so when it comes to you know just music in general, you know, you we, you know, we've had so many different groups and you know people that have you know collabed together, but when it I'm going to give you the perfect example. You know, we got this versus battle that's been going on. I'm pretty sure you all have been following and been and been seeing what's going on, but what I wonder from each of y'all, yeah. but, but what I wonder from each of y'all, what's been the what's been the most lit battle for y'all that y'all seen that y'all feel like, yo, you know what I'm saying? This is, you know, this is this really what this is really what takes me back down home, you know what I'm saying? Back down memory lane type shit. Thanks. Thanks. Um all, my all-time favorite versus battle so far, bro. Gotta be Snoop and DMX. Okay. But I feel like I appreciated it on a higher level watching Patty LaBelle and Gladys Knight. Ooh, like okay. that was, yeah, that was it. Okay, and for mine, you too. Mine was the infamous, you know, Brandon Arnold. Oh, yeah. Spicy, okay. Man, you yeah. And I ain't gonna cap you down, bro. Like, I, I, I listen to like all types of music. So when I heard that, you know what I'm saying? Like, it kind of put me in the mind, you know what I'm saying? Back in the day, chilling with like my cousins and stuff like that. We vibing out of just old music. So right. Yeah. Yeah. Timeless music. Timeless yeah. music. That's what that's what we own. That's the and new, music. And, 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 and new yeah, like on Instagram, Instagram with the Oh, like okay, yeah. yeah. 
But like, yeah, when I like actually it's Eric Badu and um Chris yes, oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Eric okay. Badu okay. Badu okay. <laughs> Now, now yeah. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say this, guys, because and those are and like you guys said, those were all epic battles, man. And you know, my thing is, and you see, you know, again, being an artist, and you see stuff like that, you know, of course, you know, you're gonna think like, yo, you know, hopefully one day I'll be in that same category. But is there yeah. any? Yeah. But is there any artist out there, you know, aside from, you know, along with them? That y'all would that y'all would look, that y'all would love to you know either collaborate with or work with or get in the studio with. Mm. You talking about as far as like a celebrity? Yeah, celebrity wise, yeah. Okay, all right. I'm gonna keep it a band. Like me from my celebrity that I'll do a feature with right now. I don't know if you guys know about them, but um, both three. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. Both three, like, yeah, I feel like me and him, like, touch on the same type of, you know, topics, you know, the cadence kind of, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I, I feel like both three, uh, right. Kevin Gates, you know what I'm saying, Justin Anderson, Rod Way, um, mm -hmm. Durant Deshaun, um, uh, LMA, you feel me? Oh, I can yeah. see that. Anderson. I can see that. I can, I, I can see like, me doing something with me. I want to do something with me. Yeah, Meek Mills. Okay. Uh, Money back. Yeah. Okay. Like, a lot of Yeah, yeah. definitely. Golf. I gotta get my boy Golf. If we, if we was to, okay. If we, if we was to get into uh, like Carolina artists. Oh yeah. Who I want to work with and care from the Carolina. And that was my ne and that was my next question. Word. I um. I really feel like I, I want to see us do a collaboration with like Brown. Yeah. Like uh, J Official, Chaz, okay. uh, Two Fly, Um, my cousin Drastic. Definitely. Um. Can it be? Yeah, MOL. You know what I'm saying? It's just like fresh. You feel me? Like, it's yeah. just my, it, these are like some of the legendary folks. You know what I'm saying? Right, like, right. You know, Henderson got a deep background, yeah, deep culture. Can't yeah. begin oh, country both music fly. scene. Yeah, like, country, hey, look, yeah, yeah, country, country both fly. fly. Yeah, I spoke that guy to man here. You feel me? We still gonna work that out. But Most country definitely. Country both fly, he like, like the Silk Dog and Black Trail. Oh, yeah, Ooh, definitely yeah. Black Trail, Red Dome. Let's go, Maryland. Now you oh, know no, what's no, no, no. crazy? Oh, yeah. no, no, no. I will say this. Now you you just mentioned um Imani Presley. Now let me now for the now I'm sure you you all are familiar with her, but when I tell yeah. you Imani has this this sound that is that is just like out of this world, like oh yeah, I, she I, next level. Yeah. She definitely, <laughs> I seen the person. She, uh, she I seen her pull a guitar out. And play that like on some old Roger Trump man. Oh, with the, with the whole yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. The four house yeah, I see we just see my trend before in. So I never heard like and she produced the uh she produced the black folk time. Yeah. She made that beat. She made that beat. Oh, come on. Oh yeah, we gotta go. So, so I look, definitely so that, wanna get us so, so that right there, that takes me into the next question. So I was gonna ask. I'm sure you guys have all heard the black as fuck cipher. What was individually, what was y'all what was y'all take on it? All right, look, I'm going to keep it a band. I don't, I don't think I heard it. I would have to go and listen to it, and then I can give you this. You know what I'm saying? But I haven't, I haven't really been in tune with it, but I'm pretty sure there's some smoke on there. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Facts. I don't no, know. I listen to it a couple times. You feel me? I don't know. Um, and hurt I, as much. You know? Yeah, but bro, you know what I mean? that black and fuck cypher, bro, I, when I first seen it, I don't know if I told you this before or, or not, but when I first seen it, I was just super more than I was even listening to the bars or into the song, I was just immensely proud of Two Fly KMG. Because mm -hmm. I seen my boy come up from, you know what I mean, from a youngin doing SoundCloud shares and stuff like that to actually stepping on stage with Carolina Waves and then for him to get picked by Mirror for that site. And then for, for how he showed out on it, that's, my, that's, that's the little bro, oh. bro. Yeah, that's what, he, that's what he talking about. My bad. Oh, yeah. Yo. Yeah. Hey, my boy King. Hey, look. I, yes, sir. What? Shout out to Tupac KMG, man. man. Yes, sir. You feel me? We're going to chop back in on that local mogul talk, too. You feel yeah, me? that's the... That's the... That's the that's a power move. Go yeah. ahead, Joe. Yeah, I appreciate y'all for showing me love at that event around January. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I do remember that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Most definitely. I bro. appreciate that shit. Hey, okay. listen, man, listen, and this is, again, you know, I, I, you know, me and somebody was just having a conversation the other day, man, and I was telling them, like, you know, it's, it, you know, people are so, people are, are so quick to be like, you know, they, they always wonder what Hancho got going on, 
and you never know where I'm gonna pop up. You never know what I've got going on. So it's one of those things when you yeah. when you are in tune with me, the way that you are, the, the way that you are, anything is not gonna happen. So to that point, what you just said, you know about that whole January show, bro. Like I'm glad that you yeah. were able to you know show up and show out, and I and I definitely can't wait to see you perform again, man. Because that yeah. right that right there for me, it it not only did it solidify your place in this industry already, but it showed me a different mm -hmm. side of you, and I got a, and I and I ended up gaining another level of respect for you. So to see you in that element, I bro, you. I definitely sense you know a lot more coming from you. So I definitely want to see that. You know what I'm saying? Before oh, yeah. 2020 is over with. Black Coat Music 2. Black Coat Music 2. Yeah. Black Coat Music 2 on the way. Yes, most sir. definitely. On most the definitely. Right on the boards. That's the infamous. Y'all already know. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and, <laughs> hey, and I want to say, like, when we get back out there and start performing, y'all already know how we rock it. Hey, you, you, you hit uh, Raleigh Day, right? I did. I did. So so while we on here, while we on here, I want to address this, yo. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead. All right. At Raleigh Day, I got a message. My cousin hit me up, so he was at Raleigh Day. It was like, yo, they did the whole 2-5 You know, 2-5? Right, two right. 2-5? Did you ever hear that before Before you seen me? Before you heard our music? Um, not that I recall, no. I, 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 I Now, I will say I was in conversation with somebody, and they was they had mentioned something about it, but I was, I was in the process of getting, you know, interviewing and, you know, get you know, trying to get people, you know, saying my, my people's in and shit like that. So I was, I was pretty much all over the place. But I did hear somebody mention the whole two five. So I was like, oh, two five is in the middle. Okay, bet. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And that's what I'm. That's what we address. That's what I'm. You know, what I mean, I wanted to just bring that up. Like the whole two five movement that swept through Raleigh and Dumb, and you know, what I mean, whenever we come out and the love we get, you know, what I mean, I want to go and put the stamp on it, like. I brought that to the forefront okay. for, like, for Carolina Waves, for Coco, you know what I mean? Me and Too Real. I, I can't take all the credit myself, but you know what I'm saying? That that, that whole interacting with the crowd, the 2-5, two 2-5, five, yeah. two five, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, we, and we made that big. And just to see, like, I, I wasn't at Riley Day. Right. You see what I'm saying? And, and to see that that still carries on, you know what I mean? I don't have to be at the event. It's just, I feel like it's big. Yeah, it's deep. You know what? And I, and you know what I'm saying? Right. And to, That's why I can't, I can't wait to hit the stage again. Right. Because I want to bring that energy back time 10. Right. Arcade of Thrones, man. Y'all see us. Come see us. All right. And to that point, man, even speaking of Arcade of Thrones, you know, uh, during the this mic, this Touch the Mic showcase that we do, man, when Too Real came through, man, that's that's all, like, from the moment, from the time he walked in to the time 11, people that was there, man, was instantly – Chanting the whole two five rank, and I'm like, yo, like it's a it's a worldwide trending thing, man. So for you to, yeah, you know, it's, it's a it's a movement, it's a movement, bro. I mean, I remember we pulled up in Greensboro one night for uh, Carolina Waves with Mir, and before we even could get in the door, like we walking through the door, people seeing us, it's, it's niggas performing and everything. The whole crowd just two five, yeah, two five. Like, man, I felt like a star for real for the first time that night. Yo. You know what I'm saying? And and just bringing it to my attention, like, damn, we really did do that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We really we really did create that wave. You know what I'm saying? The whole 2-5 Carolina Waves wave came through us. Right. And I, I feel like, well, I wouldn't say it came through us, but you know what I'm saying? A lot of it, a lot of it. You just put no light on. Yeah, we shed a lot of light, brought a lot of light back to this wild. was already there. You feel me? Like, we just cut the light back on. Facts, bro. Facts. Right. right. Facts. Big facts. So, so, with that being said, you know, because, you know, now knowing that, you know, what's, you know, what did, what does Raleigh Day mean to y'all, man? I mean, even despite the fact that y'all were there, but like, what does it, what does it mean to y'all in y'all own right? Being, you know, being, in a sense, kind of t attached to the whole Raleigh Day experience. What is that like for y'all? Man, that's what I, that's what I'm saying. It's big, but like none of us went to Raleigh Day. You know what? We not from Raleigh. Listen, out of all out of out of all the artists that I've ever come in, that I've come in contact with from from the, from then to that point, I was like, I did notice. That I was like, yo, I don't really see two. I mean, I heard, like I said again, I heard about the about the two five ten, but I was like. I ain't really see nobody from y'all, you know what I'm saying? It with you know yeah. that was I was like that was kind of different. But 
I can tell you that 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 was that was and for me that was my first time going, you know. And then on top of that, being a part of media and shit like that, bro, I saw so much shit, bro, that I'm just like, yeah, yeah. That I'm just, I believe it. That I'm just like, and then to fast forward, you know, with all the shit that I didn't post up until that point, I'm getting people hitting me like, yo, like they see how, and, and this is the thing where I say it goes up, it goes up to what I said earlier. When you driven and you determined enough. People are starting to pay attention. And this is one of the reasons why I'm glad that you, you guys wrong me the way that y'all do because y'all also see what I got coming, you know? So it, yeah. just, so it, just, yeah. so it just goes to show that, hey, the support and the, and the level of respect is, is a mutual thing, you know what I mean? So it's definitely one of those things where I'm glad I'm able to be in a position, like I said, to, you know, bring on content and not only bring on content, but really be able to put other artists in touch with other artists to where, you know, they all can collab in some in some form of way, some way, form or fashion. You know what I mean? Right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Most sir. definitely. So, look, let me ask y'all this, man, because you know, of course, you know, this is this has been, you know, as I said, the biggest elephant in the room. But you know, dealing with, you know, being, you know, dealing with this whole pandemic situation, man, for each for each for each of y'all, how has how has this been, you know, rock uh, affecting y'all mentally, and how have y'all been progressing through this whole this whole new transition of going through the world and type shit. Hey, I'm I'm gonna tell you like this. Like it's 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 more along the lines of, of it's not really something that it mess with us as a pandemic. You know, it kind of struck us as strange, you know, we gotta go on quarantine, you know. Right. That 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 hadn't happened in a minute. Like it was like the early, you know, twenty like nineteen twenty, like hundred years ago. You right, know what I'm right, like, right. It was never like a pandemic thing that we have ever heard about. So it was kind of crazy. So like I actually experienced it, you know what I'm saying? But it's it, it's pretty rough. But it brought them on blessings though for me. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Like yeah, yeah. real blessings, like, you know, the, the 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 money that was given to us, you know what I'm saying? Like I invested into everything that I got right here. Like I right, said, like, right. You know, I'm just giving back now. So it hasn't really been too bad for me because I still be working, bro. Most yeah, definitely. That's how I feel like yeah. with me it was like with the music shit, you know, it just slowed down the shows and shit, man. Right. You know, we ain't out there on stage like we was, so it's like we can't really put shit in people's face. Yeah, in but person. I know, I never so, really even did a show before though. I never performed. Wow. You feel me? Yeah, that's my, my, name, my name is so crazy though. But see, listen, that's that's the reason why, you know, so you link with people like myself who can put you in that position. Yeah. You know? Like, like my name is Bug. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Now that's, you know, and that's, and, you know, and even, and even with that, you know, even, again, going back to Easy for a second, bro, you know, you, you seen, you know, the, the shows that I put on, bro, so to, you know, for you to yeah. even be a part of that and to see, you know, just, and just for me to see your energy, man, that's the type of energy that I look for. You know what I'm saying? From and that go for and that go for any artist, you know what I mean? And it's not just you, but yeah. you know, it's 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 so many things that I now sit back and I look for and I pay attention to. You know, one thing that I've learned is your, your when it comes to making music, your delivery has to be on point for number one. And then two, you right. have to make sure that your music is relatable to what's going on because a lot of people you know, of course, they're going to talk about, you know, the, the, the typical, the drugs, the sex, money, whatever, whatever. Right. But how many people do y'all know are really speaking on some real shit that really is going on in real life? Case in point, the pandemic right. slash Black Lives Matter or whatever the case may be. Right. And you know what I'm saying? Like, so, like, I came and spoke my mind. I didn't I didn't want to do a song that pertained to drugs, guns, and all that other stuff. I wanted to come from the heart. So it's basically what I did that night. I came with two strong songs right. from the heart. Hey, yeah, this what songs you do, bro? I did blessings and never give up. And those two, them two. Listen, let me tell you something. I literally had because I think I recorded that night too. I think if I'm not mistaken. I look, I literally went back and I watched them video, that those two videos I recorded at least three or four times, bro. And I'm telling you, the energy that night that was that you brought with you, I'm telling you. That's what I, I'm, man. I'm telling you hey, now. Man. I look for that. That's how we I look it, for it's that. Like Kobe too. Like, like that's one of them songs that I've already had to add to my playlist, bro. Because, like you said, you spoke you spoke some real shit about the song. So 
definitely <laughs> definitely kudos to you, my brother. You know what I mean? So now <laughs> so now kind of subwaying a little bit, guys. You know, now we we have to address, you know, the whole Black Lives Movement matter because, you know, we all are black men out here in America. You know, we all have, you know, have, have experienced in some way from a fashion, you know, what's been going on. But individually, what is it like, you know, having to see, you know, our our people, you know, having to go through the go through things like this and let alone having to deal with you know the whole racial injustice and the whole police brutality thing how do y'all feel about that individually uh, that shit deep bro like whole brianna taylor uh incident shout out to her uh family um, george floyd my Aubrey. you know what i mean uh yeah jacob blake you know what I'm saying? just a lot of man just so many yeah, man right and, the, and the, the thing about it is, is uh, as a father, for me, is what makes it deep, bro. Like, raising my kids up in here in this world, you know, when they asking questions about things that's hard to address, you know what I mean? Like, right. white and black, you know what I mean? Um, how to act around police, or, you know what I'm saying? It's right. Just, it's, just, it's just a journey, bro. But all parents did it for us, and their parents did it for them, so I'm sure we can do it, too. Yeah. You know See, what I'm saying? My, my take on it is this, too, like, if you if you think about it biblically, you know, you speak about it in Revelation, we're living in our last days. So the moment that we got right now is what we make the best of. You feel what I'm saying? Because we never know when that time can actually come. Right. You start seeing a whole lot of more sensitive stuff going on, like, you know, and, and, and like, I forget what scripture was, so I don't want to you know, be speaking what I, know, what I don't know, but, you know, I'm pretty sure it's going to run to, you know, got to pray hard, you feel me, in order for him to move. Whatever was going on, see, we had lost touch of him. You feel me? Mm -hmm. you know, so he brought forth the loaders, you know, to eat up the crops and stuff like that. So it's just some, it's just like the Black Lives Matter. We've been living this for the longest. Like, I actually dealt with racism, you know, when I was staying in Connecticut, you know. Mm -hmm. I dealt with this, you know what I'm saying? So to have to go out every day and take extra precaution, probably unlike any other, you know, don't get me wrong, white American, you feel me? Like, we got to make sure I License is, 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 is in view of right, everything. Right. So we don't have to move, no sudden movement. But it shouldn't have to be like that because they feel nervous around us, but we're more nervous of y'all than y'all are of us. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, and you know, like how I feel about it is, you know, like everything that happened is wrong and it shouldn't even have to be that way. Exactly. But, you know, if you look at it, I mean, if, if you're a black man and you killed another black man and then you out here saying black, my, black lives matter, and how much does it matter? How much does it matter to you if you were kid your own time, but then if a white man does it, it's a, it's, it's, it's exactly. offensive to you. Exactly. So yeah. I mean everything everything that happened was wrong, of course, then it should have never happened that way. But uh, another black man can't can't come out and say black lives matter if you're gonna do the same thing that they're doing to us. Right, I agree. Now I don't know <laughs> now, right now, I don't know if you That's guys I don't time. know if you guys paid this any attention, but uh, when when the when 2020 first started, I don't know if y'all paid this any attention, but if y'all noticed, we had the whole situation with with uh with Nipsey Hussle, that happened. Right. Then following right. that, Kobe Bryant. Then following right. Kobe, then following Kobe Bryant. Then you had this whole pandemic hit. Now right. and then after the whole pandemic, then you had the whole George Floyd situation. So you didn't have four. Right. So you didn't have four situations. That happened in 2020, and you're thinking like, "Yo, like, you know, you got people out here wondering, searching for answers that I don't even think we would even get the answers to because it's like, yo, like, you know." Hey, be and you want to know something else too, Hunter? You really, you really, you really clarify like, and, and and us looking at it like it's real powerful because like these folks really made an impact when they lost their lives. You know right. what I'm saying? Right. But. Uh, like, like uh, speaking like for me, you know what I'm saying? Like, just seeing so much killing going on around here where I'm from, you feel what I'm saying? Like, right. rapidly, you know what I'm saying? Like, it makes me so numb to a death now. So when I see this broadcast live, it's like, I understand what it is, but it's just like, it's it's happening so much. It's like, what more can we do? Right. I feel it. Exactly. I think what makes it hit harder, bro, is, is where it comes from. Fact. You know right. I mean? like the police for one, like right. so or, you can't even trust your man yeah. or the police, you feel me? So especially as a black man, so you caught in the middle on on, on on both ends. Like I was looking at a picture, like 
it was a cop with a gun, and it was a black guy with a gun, and the man in the middle on his knees. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's what we stuck in between right now. So right. It's a constant battle, like, every day. So it, we, it, we come escape in the studio. Fact. You know right now, look yeah. now, now. Now, when it comes, now not to cut you off, but when it comes to the studio, uh, and y'all, and again, you know, the music that y'all create, have y'all this, have y'all in some way from a fashion, you know, have y'all decide, have y'all put what's going on right now into, you know, this 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 project or any other the songs or any other songs that y'all created, or are y'all in the process of doing mm -hmm. that? Yeah, I mean, we, yeah, we, it's, we, it's, we, it's, we, it's definitely <laughs> pull up. Um, yeah. Right. You know, we, we touched on, like you said, the Kobe situation, Dipsy, yeah. Yeah. Um, COVID-19, Black Lives yeah. Matter. We basically, man, it's just all the way real journalism from the, from the bottom. We just basically reporting all this shit live from the mud. Right, right. You know what I mean? Every, and it's, that's just how I look at it. Like, for, for somebody who's to come across what we're about to present and they listen to it, you're going to get it. No cap, straight lace, just unfiltered, the real. You know what I'm saying? Most and we, and I, when I say that, like I, ain't, I don't mean that we hardcore street or we preaching to you. It's really a blend of all of that, mm -hmm. and it's just basically the real from it. Like you know I, what I'm saying? I look at it like this: like one song might touch a touch a person different than it might touch another person. Right. You feel me? Right. It's like that's how much power that's in it. Like the song to to somebody might be a song that you know. Amp them up, you know what I'm saying? Like, right, and man, we even, work out, you know what I'm saying? We even touched on um one of the most controversial topics of 2020, and that's um OnlyFans. Yeah, wow, <laughs> yeah. 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 we got a song, wow. we got a song called OnlyFans for the ladies, man. They're gonna love it. Yeah, they're gonna, they gonna love it. Listen, you know what's crazy? <laughs> I'm gonna tell y'all something, it's crazy because. I was just having a conversation with a uh, with an uncle of mine, and we was talking about that. And you know, it, it's crazy, man, because again, you do have <laughs> these women out here that don't mind doing, doing OnlyFans, but then it's, a, it's another thing when you, when yeah. she when she get mad at you because you she like, hold up, you showing you show a little bit too much, but yeah, you go out here and show titties and ass and shit, but yeah, I can't. Okay, so <laughs> yeah. I, I, I'm gonna definitely have to. You feel me? I'm gonna definitely have to check that out because hey, that, that, that And I wanna um, shout out my uncle Doug, man. Yes, sir. Yeah, okay. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. That's, that's damn. That's yes, our uncle. That's our uncle, uncle. uncle Doug. Yes, yeah, he 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 yeah. on the only fans track, man. Yes, you know what I mean? He, he he. Of course, he older, and he used to sing in the quartet. So a lot of people from the area you know about him. Yo, he, right. he, he a musical legend. <laughs> And we got him, we got him on the tape. Most definitely, I'm gonna definitely have to check that out. But so speaking, so speak, so speaking on that mainly, um, you know, when it comes to you know women in this industry, man, like individually, how do y'all feel about the women, you know, taking over as they say the male dominated arena and really solidifying themselves out here amongst you know other male artists that are out here doing what they do best? Hey, look, I I respect. I yeah. ain't even gonna lie. Yeah. Because shit, it, it, I done had female artists that done came in here. They be snapping. They snap harder than some of the guys that right. yeah. they come from here. And I'm just being right. honest, but I, I appreciate it, you know what I'm saying. And that is more powerful because women are they don't necessarily gotta rap seductive no more. You feel me? Like you got some female artists that's snapping. Like I don't yeah. know if you heard of this artist, but I really want to work with her name Mimic Revenue. Mm. Yeah, I, I have she, heard of her. I have heard of her. Yeah, she called me. I follow her manager. Her manager followed me on um, Instagram, so I'm trying to really work some stuff out. But yeah, like one, like her, like she don't rap about you know nothing like that. Like to bring yeah. it way back to who even set the trend for that was Bay's Loaf. I feel like to right. bring that kind of vibe. You feel me? But right. like, you know, Remy Mama was doing stuff like that, but it was a different case because she was a popping female out of Detroit, and it wasn't even about. You know what I mean? Her yeah. Being right. Sexy or, you know, you know what I mean? It was just cold. She's pretty yeah. cold. Shout out to uh, another another uh, female artist. We're talking about females in the industry. We just going to shout her out, man. Um, Rhapsody. Rhapsody. You know, she from, yeah. you know, she from, she from the Carolinas. Two five to death. You yeah. know what I mean? And uh, I got the chance to meet her. I got the chance to meet her. And she was extremely humble. She a dope person. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I love to work with her in the future, too. Okay. Cool. I feel that. So look, let me ask you this. 
you know, so let me ask y'all this then. So with that being said, you know, you know, you have a lot of people out here that are up and coming that are, you know, that are, you know, chasing, you know, the artistry, chasing the DJ and chasing the beat makers, chasing, you know, saying so whatever they, they chasing. What advice do y'all have for them to really from from each from each from each of y'all's point of view, what advice can y'all give to somebody that may be listening that needs to know like this is what you do and what you don't do when it comes to working in this industry? Uh, I mean, I mean, I just tell them, you know, like the, the, the work they putting in is, is going to be the work that they getting back to them. You know what I mean? Like, okay, like what you putting out is what you getting back. Right. So if, if if you put out more than you think you can put out, you're going to get back more. Okay. Okay. So, I mean, I just tell them to just to, to keep going forward and, you know, like the same way we doing, we like we are still pushing ourselves to make it. So, I mean, I just I tell them to just keep going forward, stay humble, stay positive, keep a level mind, stay above ground, right. and don't let yourself get down to that point where you can't even think anymore about how you want to go about what you're going to do right. with this music. Right, That's, I agree. So for, for for me, it's kind of different, like, and I'm gonna take it like to a whole different like route because like. I'm not the type of person who really like get a lot of notoriety for long from. Like I said, my name really speaks for itself. Like I said, I never did a show, none of that, you know what I'm saying? But I brought a cadence to like the game too, like because before it wasn't nobody really using auto tune in the right. Carolinas like like that. You feel me? Right. And I started doing that around like 2009, 2010. You know, I was trying to record myself because. I would get procrastinated on a session or something like that, you know. I was really struggling to become an artist and find who I was. Right. You feel me? So, like I said, I um, I built it from the ground. Like I used to record my music with two two pair of headphones, bro. Right. Like, right. One for the microphone, one for the headphones. You know, record like that. But when I first bought my first like official studio equipment, like it just took off from off from there. Mm -hmm. You feel me? So. My my thing to the people who, who, who want to do anything, whether it's music, uh, uh, like my cousin, he cut hair, whether he's making shirts, whatever it is that you want to do. Oh, yeah, easy cuts. You feel me? Like, yeah. whatever you want to do. Wait a minute. Yeah, we all have to do it. We all have to do it. Wait, easy. Easy, you do it. You got to wipe this up. Oh. You feel me? Okay. Easy cuts. Easy cuts. Yeah, easy cuts. Easy cuts. Easy cuts. Easy cuts. Easy cuts. You feel me? Okay. Yeah, and, and the thing is, we don't have to step outside of our circle to get anything done. Get we got all we need. Yeah, okay. so, I mean, from from the beats, from from the artists, we are the artists, and right. we got a producer. See, like, we we and I cut hair, so it's like we don't need to go anywhere. We create our own content. Yeah, we able to create massive amounts Listen, of content. Like we do everything. Just on ourselves, bro. You feel me? Like we ain't playing. Right. Okay. We, yeah, we shoot our own videos. We make our own apparel. Yeah. Okay. We, okay. Okay. we do our own graphics. It's a one-stop shop. So, so, so listen. So, so, so with that, like you said, you know that that's that's really um that's really iconic for real, as I like to call it, because you know you right. all have all these different talents, and that was gonna take me to my next question. I was about to ask y'all, you know, five to ten years from now. You know what? What is what is y'all? What is y'all set go? What is y'all set agenda for? You know, if y'all do decide mm -hmm. to hang up the music, what it what it what's gonna be next? What can we be? What can we be expected from each of y'all? You know what I'm saying? Um, I, I feel like man, shoot, five years from now, bro, I want to be uh running one of the biggest record labels to come out of Carolina. <laughs> okay, okay, that's what I want to do, bro. I I. I, you know, I, I went to school for this music shit. I, you know what I mean? Livingstone, shout out to Livingstone College. Livingstone, uh, what's good? Yeah, yeah, see. Um, you know what I mean? I just want to, that's what I want to do with this. I want to take it and build it into a dynasty that we can produce and create artists, um, beat makers, videographers. Mm -hmm. um, and I can employ a lot of people and make a lot of money creating some really good content. Okay. Like, me... To even go deep, you know what I'm saying? Like, I would, you know, create more jobs, period. You feel me? Like, right. I said, he, like, my cousin cuts hell. Like, what is it to invest in a building and set it up as a barbershop? Now he's working, but all the money that we're making is coming from his music. 
and there's so many different artists out here that want to rap, want to do music, but they don't know how to uh, go about doing it. Yeah. So what we're doing, we're really giving them the game for free. Okay. I'm not even going to cut it. You see yeah. me? So when people come in here, like, I coach them, I give them the game for free. Like, I've had shop, people that they come fit. in here that, that never, you know, recorded a song and then they like, you feel me, and produce the dopest song that they probably will ever hear. Right. Coming from probably any other studio in the Carolinas because, like I said, I'm gradually elevating. You feel me? Like I said, my name is not really known, but Murder Wapatino, <laughs> y'all don't know who I am. Most definitely. Black Hole Music 2. Black Hole Music 2 on the way. I would, I would say five or ten years from now, like, really just, just hope we end up being multi-platinum by then. And, you know, like, and yeah. maybe we can give back. You know, to the community. Basically, just give back and yeah. continue to grow and give back at the same time. Like, yeah. it, it continues. Yeah. Like, I've never stopped giving back. I don't want to be known. But make sure we're straight too at the same time. But right. we're going to get back. Right. Like well, me, I don't want to be known as a rapper. Like I want to be known more like as an engineer. I mean, not an engineer, but an entrepreneur. You feel what I'm saying? Right. Like, right. Doing multiple things. You feel not just music, like everything. I'm trying to touch every demographic of money making that I can possibly touch. Right. 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 Okay. Hey, Hancho, we want to preview some. We want to preview some music off the project for you. Okay. Go ahead. Go cool. ahead. Drop, let, let me hear some. But look, Ruka, before before you play that, I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and make this known. Easy, since you say okay. you, since you say you do haircuts, I'm gonna, look. Hancho gonna need one. Just know that. I got you, bro. I got you. Well, look, well, look, cuz like that. Cuz like that for real. Yeah, yeah. I'm listen, cause look, right, cause look, right now, you see, I'm having to wear, I'm having to wear a cabbage, and I ain't, you know, my my shit ain't really, you know, <laughs> ain't really like like how I was like two weeks ago, but uh. You know, I'm gonna I'll hook you up, bro. You already know. You know, I got you. I'm gonna need something hooked up. You know what I mean? I got you. I'm gonna dash you up now. Add me on the book if you ain't already added. Oh, you already, yeah, I already got you, bro. So yeah, I'm definitely, right. I'm gonna definitely hit you. You hit me up. Hey yo, in fact, bro, if y'all ain't know whoever watching or you know, you see if you watch this or you watch this, you know what I mean? Easy is one of the biggest producers that came about a CRG too. Oh, right, right. You, you know what? Let me, let me shout out the entire label, music label, CRG Music, the label. What's good to all of my people within CRG? I fuck with y'all a long way. Y'all already know how that go. You know what I'm saying? Mark, you know what I'm saying? Traumatic, EJ, you know what I'm saying? Just Line, Too Real, you know? Murph. Easy, Murph, you know what I'm saying? It's a whole, it's a whole collective of y'all, you know? And then, yeah, you know, for people that bro. don't know this, you know, your boy Hancho is also one of the head promoters of CRG. So, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Definitely uh shouts yeah. out definitely yeah. shouts out to EJ for, you know what I'm saying, making making that shit happen, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Most yeah. definitely. Plug, plug all the way in, bro. Yes, sir. All right, let me see what let me see what y'all got for me. All right, all right. All right we got, we got pulling it up now. Oh, that's yeah. the first song we're gonna drop, bro. Yeah. Sat Religious. We got a song called Sat Religious, produced by Easy. Um, it's me on the verse, Murder on the Hook. Uh, this one of the um, one of, I feel like it's one of the the deeper songs on um Flight Code Music too. Okay. It's actually it's actually out right now. You can go listen to it because I dropped it as a single. Okay. Um, it's, it's what uh. Everywhere, everywhere, basically. Yeah. Apple Music, Title, Spotify, it's on everything, bro. Okay. It's on yeah. everything. It's called Sack Religion. You gotta go find it in the email. Yeah. Yeah. Big facts, big facts. Look, why y'all getting that together? Hey, Easy, how much you be charging, bro, for uh, haircuts, bro? To know. <laughs> I, like, I like their prices. Yeah. I like them prices, yeah. We we definitely got the uh, ain't gonna bust your head. Yeah, we definitely got we definitely have to uh set that up because uh yeah. you know with me doing fresh every time. With, look, with me doing <laughs> look, look, with me doing shows, I gotta make sure I'm on point, my guy. <laughs> all the time, all the time, all the time. Hey, what uh what the arcade the phone open mic looking like, man? How's that going? 
man, it's 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 had it's had its ups and downs, man. You know, the uh, opening night, man. You know, we had a good turnout. Mm. The second night, it was second night was kind of average. Third night was was uh, it was kind of slim because it was raining. And then, yeah. then next week, you know, what I'm saying we got some stuff coming up. So man, just be on the lookout. You know what I mean? That's one of my favorite. That's one of my favorite venues because I'm a uh, I'm a gamer too. I like to play games. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, I don't play games, but I play video games. <laughs> right, right, right. But at the same time, bro, shout out to uh, Mr. Carolina Hip Hop. Okay. Shout out to Jordan. Oh, um, man. everybody, everybody up there at Arcade Tone. DJ Wade Brown on the one two. Most I definitely. I just seen y'all movie, bro. You know what I'm saying? Most definitely. Let's get. It. I got you. So let's get, we're about to get into this track. Like I said, y'all, it's out right now. It's a single called Sack Religious, produced by Easy. You already know, me and Murder Bop. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, let me let me just go ahead and, and, and go ahead and call it down how I see it, man, because that right there just once again it explains the delivery behind the song that is so prolific to what y'all are pushing and what y'all are doing. And I could and I personally, Hacho J. Personally, I I I approve that. I approve that song. You feel me? Like that's gonna be right. that's gonna be one of Hancho J's uh songs for the show. So I'ma definitely matter of fact, and it just gave me an idea because I need I need for y'all, you know, specifically, I need for y'all to create me a dope song, a, a dope theme song, something like something along those lines. So if y'all can create me a theme song for this show, I definitely will rock with it for sure. Ooh. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. We we locked in tonight. We're gonna go ahead and get a jump start on it. Most we'll definitely. Ooh, 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 we finna work on that. Hey, bro, we finna work on that. Right. Most hey. definitely. Oh, see, listen, Cause see, listen, what people don't realize is, you know, because you know, I've had a lot of people to say, oh, you know, you know, when you go do such and such. And I'm like, you know, I'm I'm in the process of working, but like I say, yeah, what the after what I just heard, oh yeah, that that's gotta come all the way from the, you know what I'm saying, from the two five, you know what I mean? Right, bro, right, but bro, listen, bro. listen, my right. it's, it's telling me we got uh, my time is winding down, but you know, so I definitely want to take this opportunity to appreciate you know, appreciate y'all for coming up, c coming through and chopping it up with me, you know, so on the very special edition. You know, hey, look, we appreciate, hey, look, we appreciate you, having you man. Me. Most hey, look, that's the shop on my social media. You can add me on Facebook, Robert and then um, Instagram is underscore family CEO. You know, and then I got on Snapchat, you know, that's on The Real Murder. That's T-H-E-R-E-L-R-E-A. 
And it's so easy made it on Facebook, so easy made it on Instagram. Most Trizzy Snap everywhere except Facebook. Facebook, you can find me at Traumatic. Most I already know how we rocking it. Most definitely, well, fellas, I appreciate y'all, and I'm a definitely, I'm a definitely, I'm definitely about to hit y'all, you know, after this live end. But I said, cause I got some, I got some ideas for y'all, some, some that I just seen. So I'm gonna hit y'all as soon as the live over. But like, see, so yeah, definitely, thank y'all, and definitely, I definitely can't wait to bring y'all back on another edition of the Independent Scene. Oh, yeah. Now, oh, yeah. hey, look. Hey, hey, one time for the one time. One time. Two, 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 two,